Hi, buddy! Come on in! Hi, Ozzy Beanie! Take one guess why Ozzy is positively beside himself. We do cupcakes, we do cookies, but the cakes have really taken off. Every time we go on the walk, it's a detour for him here. A detour for pooch pastries in the shape of tater tots and pastrami sandwiches, displayed alongside chewy Vuitton and Pata plush toys. It's all quite fetching here in Grafton, Massachusetts. There's always something fun that comes out of a dog eating a cake. I know it's sort of a cliche, but we really do make it with love. Owner and baker Emily Ascalillo opened quite fetching barkery and pet boutique in honor of her late beloved dog Rags. I met him in Key West, Florida. I was working as a waitress. 14 years of just travel and companionship and, and uh, yeah, love of my life. Today, Ascalillo and her husband Kevin Downey have four dogs and plenty of neighborhood taste testers. Okay, what do you think? Oh, yummy. Thumbs up. Uh Pause up. All of the cakes here have minimal ingredients and use yogurt icing and carob instead of chocolate. We use eggs, oil, water, and that's about it. This is whole wheat flour, a little bit of banana flavoring, some salt, and a tiny bit of cane sugar just to kind of keep it all glued. It smells amazing. Yes, look at these. Today's treat, peanut butter filled muffins. Now we know why the dogs love them. Well, not just dogs. Woman comes back 10 minutes before closing and she's like, I need some more cupcakes. Do you happen to have any more cupcakes? And I said, oh my gosh, yes, do you have extra dogs? She goes, no, my husband ate them. <laughs> I'll try it. Mmm, it's like whole wheat. Sweet whole wheat, perfection. For pet partiers, the Barkery offers a special service. It's something a little nutty about it. Ascalillo's good-natured husband will hand deliver goodies dressed as a giant squirrel. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a quick dash across the street to provide icing on the cake for any celebration. All sorts of occasions. Birthdays, though, first birthdays tend to be the biggest celebration. <laughs> My life has literally gone to the dogs, and I couldn't be happier about it. Steps from Symphony Hall, art you can eat, and I'm getting a lesson in floral design. We're talking about sugar flowers, which transform cakes into fancy eye candy. Sugar flowers are a specialty here at Oak Leaf Cakes Bake Shop in Boston. Growing up, I did a lot of baking with my mom and my grandmas. Owner and head baker Amanda Oakleaf studied painting and ceramics at Mass Art. There's some mediums that behave very similarly, whether edible or fine art. Oakleaf and her team make sugar flowers with gum paste mixed with marshmallow fondant. The fondant is the sugar dough that rolls out that goes over like wedding cakes and stuff. And the gum paste is more of a very strong like gum gelatin mix. So technically it's edible, but when it dries, it dries very hard, um, almost like a cake cement. Oakleaf shows me how to sculpt sugar roses with cutting tools and rollers. The glue is a mix of water and eggs. If you do a really detailed flower, it can be an hour or two on one flower, painting it or airbrushing it or petal dusting it. After cutting the petals, we thin them out for a more realistic look. It's gonna curl up like this. If you kind of roll them in the center, that'll create more space in between the petal and the bud, so it'll look like more of a full flower. Each petal is carefully placed on a bud attached to a wire. You want to wrap this around, make it nice and snug, and you want to tuck it under and then just overlap them. This would take me far too long. I'd be the slowest flower maker. <laughs> Sprinkle a little petal dust and voila! Just don't be shy about digging into this edible art, says Oakleaf. We get the comment a lot like, oh, it's too beautiful to eat. No, that's the point. You eat it. <laughs> it tastes good. Amanda and her husband Tyler actually started Oak Leaf Cakes Bake Shop back mm. in their small kitchen in their studio apartment in 2008. Now she has her own YouTube channel where she offers tutorials on decorating cakes. Yeah, and she says if you have these sugar flowers mm. left over from a wedding or another celebration of any kind, you know, they may dry out, they may get a little bit brittle, but 
they're good forever because they're just sugar, so you can hang on to them.